Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5 for your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch, 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. This does not work on the iPad 2, so if you are on 4.3.3 on your iPad 2, definitely do not upgrade to 4.3.5 because you will lose the ability to use Jailbreak Me to get an untethered jailbreak if you're on an iPad 2. And that basically goes for everybody else too. You can still jailbreak, but this is a tethered jailbreak, which means that you will have to plug in your iDevice every time it turns off, and you will have to rerun Red Snow in the Just Boot Tethered Now mode. Alright, now that I've got that out of the way, you will need to download the latest version of Red Snow. Uh, your firmware for 4.3.5 and 4.3.4. Now the reason why you need 4.3.4 is so you can use Red Snow to point it at 4.3.4 and basically the only reason why you're doing that is because the dev team hasn't updated Red Snow to recognize 4.3.5 yet and you do need 4.3.5 obviously to restore your device but it's not essential that you actually know where it is I just placed it on the desktop for instructional purposes uh, but once your device is on 4.3.5 then you can continue and I will show you guys uh, that in my iPod Touch I am on 4.3.5 as you can see at the bottom it says 4.3.5 for the version alright so what you're going to do is simply run Red Snow and you're going to hit browse and then you're going to browse for your 4.3.4 firmware once you've browsed for it it will process it and you can hit next and it will basically just uh, process the kernel and patch it so then you can continue with your jailbreak and then what we're interested in is install Cydia now if you have an iPod touch it will give you a couple other options uh, such as enable battery percentage and you should get enable multitasking gestures for all devices you can enable those but all we're really interested in right now is install Cydia just the top one make sure that's checked and then you can hit continue and then right here it will just say make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off and then once you hit next it will tell you how to enter DFU mode and it will walk you through that however I'm going to enter DFU mode right now ahead of time and it will bypass this screen so what you're going to do is hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds now once that 10 seconds is up let go of the power button and continue the uh, holding the home button and you should hold that for roughly 15 seconds and it will bypass this screen once you have entered DFU mode and it will start jailbreaking it All right here we go it's downloading the jailbreak data now Okay, now it says the rest of the process will take place on your device. Now it's just running through the LimeRain exploit. Once this finishes, it will go into that uh, red snow uh, just screen where it uh, has the running pineapple and it will uh, take a while on that screen. This screen doesn't take so long, but I will just leave it up and show you guys how long the entire process takes. Alright, here we go. Moving applications is really the only part that takes the longest, or that takes the most time. So uh, I'm just going to leave this running and I won't cut anything out. And I will just show you guys how long this actually takes.
All right, there we go. It finished moving the applications, and now it's installing the bundles, and this doesn't take long at all. Once it's done with this, it will reboot, and then once it has booted up, I will show you guys that Cydia is a white icon, and Safari will not load. Again, this is because this is a tethered jailbreak, and what you will have to do is rerun Red Snow and do Just Boot Tether now. So I'm going to open up Red Snow ahead of time uh, once you have closed out of it the first time so uh, you just open it back up you hit browse and then you find your firmware again and then you open it and you just hit next to patch the kernel again but on your iPod touch or iPhone or iPad here you will notice that you do have Cydia and it is a white icon and every time you try and open it it will just crash same exact thing goes for Safari it will crash so again, to fix this, you will need to just boot tethered now inside of Red Snow. So once you have browsed for your 4.3.4 firmware, then you will uncheck install Cydia and check just boot tethered right now. And again, you will have to do this every time your device turns off and you want to turn it back on and you actually want to use something like Cydia, Safari, or anything you've downloaded from Cydia. So you will have to do this anytime you want to use any of those applications. Once you have Just Boot Tethered right now checked, you can hit Next, and it will tell you just to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off, and then it will go through the steps to enter DFU mode once you hit Next. But again, we're going to enter DFU mode right now by holding down the Home and Power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the Power button and continue holding the Home button. All right, now it bypassed the screen, and it basically is just exploiting with red or with Lime Rain so that it can boot into that Just Tether Now stage. All right, now this part doesn't take long at all. It's just like a normal boot. But again, I will just leave the camera rolling so I can show you guys how long it takes. Alright, there we go. Now we can use Cydia or we can use Safari. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I release a new video. So until next time, this is ICU signing out.